I'm Jomica, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program series. Uh, we are playing RP1, Realism Overhaul. If you take a look here, it is the real world. Well, not real, but it looks like it. So we are going to call this um, RP1, New Career, Difficulty. We'll set that in a second, but we're going to set our flag... I'm gonna go ahead and use my logo. Just trying to decide if I wanted the dark background or not. We'll go ahead and go with the transparent one. So, we are probably gonna be playing normal. And I think we're just gonna leave all the settings how they are. Except, I think we wanna try with the lifetime radiation. Um, that way we keep them safe, because I think everything else is basically the same uh, between moderate and normal, other than that. And then some of the values change, like more breakdowns for moderate, uh, less money, less science for things. We don't want it to be too hard. Um, I'm going to keep allow reverting flights and quick saving, just because recording and... Yeah, I don't want to have to go back and start over in case something happens. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start it. And when we load in, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that it's telling us that we need to kind of take care of. Um, but we're just going to kind of quickly go through it all. Uh, thank you, I've got it. No vessels found. Nope, I missed. Let's hit OK here first. It understood and thanks I've got it so what we want to do first is we're gonna pick where we want to start right now we should be at Cape Canaveral in Florida um, that should be that's not Florida I think I went the wrong way there we are Florida's over here I think I want to start a little bit closer to the equator in Brownsville a um, little bit easier for getting equatorial orbits and all that, and we're still in the U.S. Um, we'll hit got it there. So we'll leave because we did pick our facility, and then we're going to go ahead and spend our first point. Little upgrades here. First one on the VAB, so we can actually build stuff, and it doesn't take many, many, many years to build our first rocket. Um, contract complete, that just unlocks stuff, it should start automatically. And then we have all these RP-1 contracts here. The first one is milestone of the first launch. Um, it should be active. I guess it's not. If we exit out here, I think it should... Well, we'll accept it anyways, because... I mean, that's what we're going to be doing, so. We have no other available contracts. That is the first one. And we're going to go ahead and go right into the VAB. And we'll start building our first rocket. It's going to be a Sounder rocket. It's going to be all the low-tech parts from the 1950s. And then we'll go ahead and launch it and see how it goes. Alright, 
we got our first sounding rocket complete. We got our aero B down here. We have the high pressure tanks full of fuel, both the top and the bottom. We have the parachute. We have two science here uh, with the third telemetry telemetry analysis. And I think that's all we need. The other, only other thing we need to do is build it. Current build time is 80 days. But if we take a look in here and we retool, or we tool everything, it's only going to cost 93. Um, where does it say how much shorter it'll be? Well, oh wait. 67. So, I mean, it's going to take off. It's a thousand bucks. Total vessel cost. Oh, okay. So we buy the vessel plus the tooling. Um, we're going to purchase the tooling anyways, and we're going to take off, what, 10, 10 days, 20 days? I don't remember what it was before. I totally forgot. I know I just said it. Um, so yeah, we'll save that as Sounder 1. Go ahead and save it. We'll leave. One thing I forgot to do is actually put it in the queue. So we'll go back in. I wonder if I can do it out here. I don't think I can. So we'll just go ahead and click build from the VAB. And that'll start our build process. And in 67 days, we should be able to launch it. Um, we're going to need all these parts. So we'll just unlock them all. Escape. And go back. And I think we're just going to time warp from here. There's nothing really else we can do at this point. So we'll just go ahead and warp to complete. It's going to be 67 days. And vessel, we're going to roll that out to the pad. It's going to take another four, four hours. So not long. But it is nighttime. We are definitely going to fix that. Go to morning. And then, once the sun's out, we'll go ahead and launch it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and launch. And I'm going to clear all of our alerts. I think we have one alert right now, and that's just telling us that our shuttle, or spaceship, or craft is complete. So we'll go ahead and clear vessel complete. That's what it's called, a vessel. So we'll go full speed ahead, and all we can really do from here, make sure all the science is going, yep, and hit spacebar. Should just go off on its own. We don't have to worry about it. We'll just go ahead and let it go. We are going to be collecting some science. Just go ahead and lock that up there. I don't think we really need to check anything else. Delta V if we want. One thing I forgot to mention is each engine has its own like safe runtime. Um, this one was, I believe it was 47 seconds. We did about 50 seconds of time. Should be okay. But if not, no big deal. We can always do it again later. All we're really trying to do is launch our first vessel and that's it. We don't have to worry about anything. I think we already completed the contract. We got a whole bunch of other ones here. So yeah, we got the first launch. We got uncrewed speed record of 350, 10 kilometers, and we're up to 600 meters per second here. And then we did get one more, uh, 20 kilometers. And we're not going to get the 50k one, but we should get, I think it's, there's a 30 and maybe a 40. I don't remember which ones there are. But these are still going. They're not collecting any science yet because we're not high enough. I believe once we get over 40k, we'll collect some science. So this will get us about 8 kilometers worth of time. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and fast forward. We are above 40k. There's all the stuff we can get. We've got another contract here of 30k, 40k. And that'll be it. I think that's all of the milestones we're going to be getting here. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and wait for it to come down. We are going to be coming over the water, so that's actually good. We have no control over this thing. We can basically just turn the engine on, turn it off, 
and fire the parachute. So we'll just fast forward all the way down. Um, we're gonna close out these. We'll leave the orbit info just so we can see the apoapsis. And once we get low enough, we could probably just do the parachute now, but we'll wait until we're lower and slower, and then we'll deploy our parachutes and hopefully land safely in the water. So yeah, it looks like we'll be okay. We're gonna slowly expand at about 500, which will slow us way down. Uh, looks like only one of them does that. I mean, that's fine. We don't want it to take too long. There's the second one. And yeah, we're gonna be just hanging out for a little bit while we continue down. All right, we're about to touch down. So we did touch down there. We are floating, so that's good. We'll go ahead and recover this vessel. Just do a normal recovery. Um, with the space plane hangar, you can actually recover them into the space plane, or into the hangar, and reuse them again. Um, but with the rockets, uh, you definitely can't. At least if you can, I don't know. Maybe you can do it later. Um, no science from that, because we transmitted it all back home. Uh, we did get 5.5 science for recovering a vessel that survived a flight. And we got 76 funds recovered from parts, kind of like the normal KSP stuff, or Kerbal Space Program stuff. Yeah, KSP. I don't know what I was thinking. KSC, maybe. Got me confused. Um... So yeah, we have seven signs to spend. We have $70,000. And I think we're gonna go into research and development. And we're gonna start probably, well, I want lighter tanks, which I believe are out here. It's gonna take some time to get out there. So that's not really gonna help us for now. Um, nothing in here. I think I'm gonna go I do want to do planes, so do we start with planes, or do we start with better rockets? I think we'll start with planes, and then we'll get the other rocket, and then from there, I'm not sure where we'll go next. I think we'll hold off on all that. We may want to do the avionics. Um, yeah, it'll reduce the mass by 34%, which will be nice to have. But we'll we'll let those two go first. We're not going to worry about that. Um, but, yeah, we'll let those research. Um, they'll be going here. 145 days. Actually, let's spend some of our money. And we'll do... Just do two research there. So... Yeah, that took off 30 days from the supersonic plane development. Hopefully we'll get some more money in the next episode. Um, but that is going to do it for today. If you liked, the, if you liked today's episode, uh, please be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what you think of the series so far. Anything you want to see me do. Um, anything like that. Any kind of contracts we want to do. Right now we don't have too much to choose from. But once we get later on there's tons of different contracts we can do so i'd love your input on that so yeah thank you everyone thank you everyone for joining me and i hope to see you all in the next episode